Now we're going to take a look at uh, troubleshooting your central air conditioner. We're going to look at uh, ductless split type systems. Um, before uh, doing too much troubleshooting, you need to make sure that the uh, maintenance, routine maintenance has been done on your unit, uh, such as cleaning the unit and changing the filter. And my experience, that uh, usually takes care of about half the problems that people have with their systems. Uh, after you've made sure that the, the unit itself is clean, then the uh, next place you want to start is your thermostat. Uh, if your indoor fan is not running, uh, first check the temperature setting on your thermostat. Uh, make sure that it's set lower than the actual uh, room temperature. Uh, believe it or not, that's happens sometimes. Uh, also, uh, what you can do is uh, turn the fan switch to on and then uh, see if the fan on the furnace or air handler comes on. If it does, then uh, it could be a problem with your thermostat and if it doesn't, then it could be a problem with a breaker or with uh, the motor itself. If your fan does not come on, then you want to uh, check make sure that you have power to the furnace and that can be in a breaker box or a fuse box uh, this is just a typical breaker it's shown in the off position if it's in between the on and the off position that's a sign that it is tripped uh, and if the breaker is tripped you can reset it and see if it works if it uh, trips again then you have a problem with uh, either your wiring or something in the circuit and then it, you want to check all the wiring in your furnace or air handler make sure there's no problems with it if it continues to trip then you want to uh, look more into the electrical if the breaker was not tripped and the lower motor is still not running then uh, you need to check on the furnace itself uh, it could be the control board the blower motor or its wrong capacitor could be the problem uh, if your furnace has a sight glass on it you can look through there and see if you see a green yellow or a red flashing light if you do that tells you that that uh, there's power to the control board and also if it's a uh, flashing rapidly it usually tells you that uh, the control board is trying to get the air conditioner to run and uh, if you do have power to it uh, some on some furnaces you'll have a condensate pump just a little pump to get rid of the drainage from the air conditioner and uh, those uh, typically have a uh, shut off built into them uh, in case that the pump fails and once the water builds up to a certain level it'll shut off the low voltage power to the furnace so uh, if you do have one of them you want to check to make sure that the condensate reservoir is not full and that the pump is functioning Another common uh, complaint for uh, your air conditioner is that there's water around on the floor around the air handler or the furnace and uh, that can be caused by a, a blockage in the condensate drain line. This is condensate drain line typically on a air conditioner and uh, if this uh, line gets uh, some gunk in it over time then it can block up and then the, the back back up into the drain pan. So if you're having that problem, eh, you can simply make sure that this line is clear and also make sure that the inlet to the line is clear. If the blower on your furnace is running and you still don't have sufficient cooling, uh, another thing that you want to look for while you're at the furnace or air handler is check to see if there's any frost or ice buildup. Uh, usually you'll notice it on the refrigerant lines here or uh, Sometimes you'll notice it just from water ripping off, but if you see these lines uh, with ice on them, then it's a sign that there's a problem with it. If there is ice uh, build up on the lines or you notice it, then uh, what you want to do is uh, shut the air conditioner off at the thermostat and you may want to uh, turn the blower, the fan on on the furnace or air conditioner. That'll just help it to to thaw out 
uh, you should wait uh, about two hours at least uh, just for the ice to melt before you uh, continue with your troubleshooting. If uh, you don't see any ice and uh, the fan motor is running, then uh, you should continue your troubleshooting at the outside unit. Hey, you continue your troubleshooting outside and uh, thing to look for is if you see the uh, condenser fan motor, if it's running or not. If the fan motor is running but the compressor is not, then you can uh, can uh, focus more on the compressor type components. Uh, you want to check make sure the power is on, and the disconnect switch is on, and if there's any fuses outside, make sure that they're good. Uh, if the uh, compressor is running but the fan's not, then you can focus in on the condenser fan motor. Uh, other things to check is the contactor. You know, check to make sure you have power coming to the unit. If the compressor and the condenser fan motor are both running and you still don't have uh, sufficient cooling, then uh, you want to check the refrigerant charge. If you've uh, gone, gone through all these steps and you're still having a problem with your air conditioner, then uh, some other typical problems are uh, if you have insufficient cooling still, uh, it could be because of the size of the air conditioning unit itself. Uh, especially if you've done any remodeling, adding on uh, any major changes to your home, that affects the load on the air conditioner and it could in fact be too small now. Uh, a lot of times it also happens on new homes unfortunately. Uh, uh, a low calculation is not done and uh, sometimes the unit is either too small or too big and uh, if it's too big it just simply doesn't run enough and you'll have a sticky feeling in the house. If it's too small it will just run all the time and never get to get the house itself cool. Uh, you'll probably notice the uh, unit being too small on the hottest days of the year, typically when it's 90, 95 and so forth. Uh, basically the unit has to be sized properly for your area of the world. Uh, Typically around here, uh, the design temperature is between 95 and 100 degrees. So when it's that hot outside, a properly designed system should maintain your house comfortable at that temperature. If it doesn't, it's improperly sized. Another uh, problem may be uh, where different rooms in the home are not, uh, not an even temperature. Uh, that's usually due to a problem with the duct system itself usually once again from uh, improper design and uh, basically the way to fix that stuff it has to be fixed through dampers through a, uh, basically a check and to see what you the duct system you have and what you should have and, and it can be difficult to do.